we are finally launching the iSchool Connect Test Prep where we will be assisting you with all important overseas education tests be it GRE, GMAT, IELTS, TOEFL or even SAT. Now with these test prep solutions you will be getting hundreds of hours of uh, classes, you will be getting thousands of practice questions, you will also be getting a chance to talk to experts, attend live workshops, you will be getting an access to ebooks, all of that and so much more. So for all of this information, I would request you guys to go ahead and check out the link in the description. All you need to do is head to iSchoolConnect.com or you could even book a call with our experts and they will be super happy to guide you through that entire process. This channel is what studying abroad dreams are made of. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi guys, welcome back to iSchool Connect. Today we are going to talk to you about competitive exams you will need to take before applying to universities in France. If you want to study in France, there are a few competitive exams that you might have to take, like IELTS, TOEFL, GRE or GMAT. Let's first look at IELTS or TOEFL. If you are applying for an undergraduate program, an MIM, a Masters or any Grand École course, you will most definitely have to take this exam given that your course is taught in English. Most universities accept both IELTS and TOEFL, but it's always good to check before you take these exams. In France, the universities require a minimum of 6.5 band or a B2 level in English. In case you're unsuccessful in scoring your desired band, you can always retake the exam in the same year and the validity remains for two years. But some schools make exceptions and you can prove your level of proficiency in English apart from giving IELTS that is one because we're Indians you know that we have been learning in English for all our lives so some schools do accept 10th and 12th board exam scores for your language English if they are above 70 on 100 that could act as a proof of your level of proficiency in English in some schools secondly you can also issue a certificate from your previous institution mentioning that you have been studying in English for the past X years. That also works on a case-to-case -case basis and not all schools accept this, but you can obviously ask the school that you're going to apply to if you could submit a document like this. Third, sometimes schools are generous enough to have an in-house English test exam, which is online, which is uh, to judge your English reading, writing and listening skills. Now let's talk about GMAT and GRE. In France, you will need to produce a GMAT or a GRE score for technical courses like in medical, engineering, law and finance and for a few other business courses. Or an equivalent of an MBA in France, which is Masters in Management. Masters in Management is a course which is usually a Grand École course and a Grand École course will always, always need you to provide a GMAT score. The bands of GMAT and GRE scores are different depending on the course that you choose as well as the school that you're going to apply to. Now, some universities do ask you specifically for a GMAT score, but some universities do not want you to submit it. But it's obviously better to have a score on your profile so as to get a better chance of getting accepted into the university. A few additional tips before you apply to France. If your course is taught in English, you don't need to take a French language test. However, you should have an A1 or an A2 level in French to get by. In the case that you have taken a DELF or a DALF exam, it's always good to show it as a part of your extracurriculars. If you're opting for a French taught course, make sure that you have at least a B2 level in the language. So that's about it. These are the only two exams that you need to give if you want to apply to a university in France.